Well, well, welcome back, viewers. And uh, you know, I'm going to juggle around a little bit because I'm still in the middle of setting up. Regan's going to be filled with confidence after that. That spat out of the pitch something chronic. That did not look very nice at all. Uh, anyway, welcome back. Last game of the year. And we are at Elaine Cricket Club in uh, the depths of London. It took us a nine on an hour and a half to get here. Uh, not far from Lambeth. Uh, right, look in the background here, we've got Dulwich playing over there versus someone else, some Div 1, Surrey Championship Div 1 cricket. And uh, over here we have got the Surrey County League, well hello, Tom Regan. Uh, over here we have got the Surrey County League, Premier League. And uh, obviously we have got promoted, we've assured ourselves promotion now, which is such a relief and we are so, so thrilled about the fact that we have actually gone up. Um, next year we'll be in Surrey Championship, that's fantastic. And um, yeah, so here we are, and we're playing Elaine. Elaine are third from bottom, uh, almost fighting a relegation battle, by all accounts. So you've got Regan opening the batting, well, you, you'll see the familiar stature there of Charlie Robbins opening the batting with him. And uh, well, I think Charlie has just completely lost his mind it may be still drank from last week I'm not 100% sure to be completely honest with you but uh, I know some some very long uh, celebrations went on deep into the night and into the early hours, hours of the morning and uh, yeah so, so we're having a little bit of a play today by all accounts um, not too much of a play we don't want to be totally ridiculous um, but a little bit of a play and uh, is that going to go? No, just a single. Uh, yeah, we're going to have a little bit of a play. So Charlie's opening the batting, and God knows who you could see coming in next. It'll be, uh, yeah, really it'll, uh, we'll, we'll see when we see a wicket fall. Oh, look at this. What a fabulous top knot this bowler's got. He's uh, showing off some wonderful locks of hair that he's got, tying them up yeah, nicely indeed. Regan on strike again, let's see what his first delivery is going to be. Oh, cheeky inside edge. Unfortunately, we are, uh, yeah, well, you can see there's a side screen and uh, sort of pitch wraps around it there. So uh, everything that's going to go into the offside, we are going to lose behind the side screen, unfortunately. But I'll do my best to capture everything that I can. Charlie Robbins asserting his spot as a Hawley first 11 opener. He played a lane last time. I think he got... 24 or 34 or something like that. I can't remember. I wasn't actually there at the game, but yeah, he got a he got a well, his top score probably for the first 11 full stop. Uh, but yeah, so I think he's also feeling a little bit uh, confident in his, in his abilities against this team. So let's see, let's see how he fares up. I think it was 34 actually. Oh, well played. Smack back over the bowler's head. Yeah. Very well taken there. Well round by long off. Long on, sorry. Probably more mid on actually where he was stood. Very, very well run round. Caught, sort of running, jumping in the air. Very nicely taken. Well, that's the end of Charlie. Didn't really seem to do that much damage, but that's not much of a surprise to be honest with you. 11 for one, off two. Wow. Regan's had a massive swipe at that. If that's caught, that's incredible. No, it's not caught. Oh, Regan's still in T20 mode, I think. That's beautifully played by Regan. They've just pulled a player away from there. Ben Stewart, the player in at number three, replacing Charlie. And uh, it's, it's weird to say replacing Charlie. Oh, 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 what on earth has happened there? Um, yeah, it sounds very weird to say, but uh, yeah, we've had a little break of Ben, we didn't see much of him for a while, I think he went on holiday and uh, uh, then he had spent, uh, came back and spent a couple of weeks in the twos, but uh, yeah, he's still playing very, very nicely, and uh, yeah, it's been beautiful for us at the beginning of the season, so yeah, really lovely level head, and it's very nice indeed. Whoa, that's absolutely blasted back past the bowler. And again, Reeves is uh, zooming the wrong way there. I'm doing it the wrong hand. Yeah, Reeves is having a little bit of fun out there. So it'll be interesting to see how these guys are going to play today with the 
Mm. Well, zero pressure at all. Doesn't matter if we win, doesn't matter if we lose, we're getting promoted. So, yeah, it'd be really, really good to see how they're going to play. See them express themselves properly. It's really nice to play from Regan. Absolutely unmoved. Umpire unmoved. Not out. I didn't hear anything. That's a great shot from Ben. Gonna get a good couple there. Oh, it's down. It's my way. And it's hit the camera. Well played. Oh, the boundary to Regan. 45, that's going to go to 49, off nine, for one. Change the bowl right from this end. Boys have murdered the first few deliveries for singles. Very nicely indeed. That's a lovely shot from Regan. Beautifully played. Let's have a shot at a scoreboard for you. you know, 59 for one off 11. And that has put Regan onto 48 off 35 balls or something along those lines. Yeah, he's, a, he's approaching his 50. That could be close. I thought it might have been. That's a second wicket there for... Uh, for Elaine, so there's someone screaming behind us as well. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, yeah, second wicket for Elaine. That's the end of Ben Stewart. Batted very nicely. Out for 10 off 24 balls, sadly. Ben's replacement is Barnet on strike. Really great to see him back playing for the first level. That's a great shot to get away off Mark. Oh, he's been misfielded for four as well. That's done nicely. Yeah, it's great to see him looking so fit and healthy. Uh, obviously, he's still carrying a nasty, nasty injury, but it uh, looks like he's recovering very, very well indeed. Uh, yeah, really nice for him to be able to make it back and get a few games in the ones. That's lovely. What a great shot. Well struck back past the bowler there. Oi! Little cheeky Nick. Beautifully picked up by Regan. That will see him over the line to get yet another 50. Really, really well batted. He's in great form at the moment. Nicely played indeed. Double up. 52 or 43 balls. Oh, it shot up in the air. That could be the end of Barnet. I think it is. Very well caught. Comfortably taken. Playing aggressively there. Trying to put runs in the ward quickly. No harm in that. Doesn't matter if it doesn't come off. If it does come off, though, it's great. 77 for three. Got 14 now. Barnet's replacement. Ben Davies on strike at the moment. We've got to change bowling from the far end as well. Ball change. Got a spin into the attack. Play as well as he has been recently. That is so well for us in the uh, Sussex Slam final. Or well, on the finals day, in, in fact. He's just added to the lineup. Great bit of fielding. Back there, Ben can't believe it. Great bit of fielding for Zold in there. That was fantastic and good running. Glorious shot from Regan. And picked it up nicely as well. That'll be another one over the boundary. 
Oh, that's an awful bounce, and Regan's I think, got away with it. Or is he not? Has he? No idea what's happened down there. Could have been four, could not have been. Oh, and now we've woken up and that there's uh, there's overthrows and we've got another one to it. A couple to Reeves. Powerfully hit by Regan. Straight past the fielder. Four runs for him. He's batted very well. 69 off nearly 60 balls now. I turn along really nicely, just over a run a ball. Really good from him. Oof. Spicy looking wicket this. There has been some really funny balls coming out of it. And uh, well, it may not be nice for us, so I imagine it's gonna be even less fun to face Will on that sort of wicket. Ah, well caught. Well caught indeed. Well watched, well judged. Just caught it just inside the boundary. Smidgen late on that one as well. And uh, that's a shame. It's the end of Regan who was batting so well indeed. And, uh, yeah, we're not going to see any more of him this year. Just trying to get his score up for you. So he scored 74 from his 69 deliveries. And that's a uh, yeah, great knock to finish his season off. Fortunately, he couldn't convert this time round. 106 for four of 23. Lapped away, past backward point, that's going to run for four. No one's stopping that on today. Ah, it's gone miles. Really got hold of that one. Nearly landed on his fiance's lap. Fantastic shot. Opening bowler, switched ends, he's coming on from this end now. Really on strike, cut away beautifully. Off the mark, off the mark, got away for four. That's, that's a fantastic shot. That's running away. Oh, it's a great dive on the boundary. Oh, that's a magnificent cut there from Ant. Put his feet across, head going towards the ball. Cut powerfully behind square. Oh, that is a massive amount of spin that's taken that away from the fielder as well. Top shot. Good hand, great hand indeed. Very well fielded. Kept it to a single. Oh, we fucked it. Oh, that is outrageous. That is such a good catch. Well watched indeed. What a brilliant catch. And didn't fully get hold of that one. And uh, yeah, he left it there, square leg. Just the catch. It's close, but uh, yeah, well done. Yeah. Oh, well bowled. I didn't even get time to introduce him. Will Taylor. And that's the end of Will Taylor. Uh, walking off. Well bowled from that bowl. That was a quicker ball by looks of things. Caught Will by surprise. Missed it. Played around it. Bowled. Oh, it's in the air. Yeah. Well taken. Really well taken. I'll tell you what, Elaine have caught brilliantly in the field today. They really have taken some absolute screamers. And that's four now, I think. So he's not far off five. Uh, see if he, he'll be keen to get that, I'd imagine. We've got Adam Stevenson and Matt Puttock left to come. So, uh, yeah, he's bowled very well so far. Oh, that's right up in the air. That's got to be caught. That will be caught. Oh, he's missed out there. Having a swing. 156 for nine off 36 there. Sadly, we see him depart. It's a shame. Oh, talking about this. Look, have a look in. in the background there. We've got Cranley versus Dulwich. I'll tell you what. I don't know whether it was that player that we can see in screen at the moment. Just hit, uh, hit a pull shot. A fairly sharp bowler. Let's have a look. No. Um, hit a pull shot and it, it went into nearly into the top of one of these trees. It was absolutely enormous. Definitely would have been a lick the stamp and send it, that's for sure. 
Adam Stevenson joining Matt Putter to the crease. Batting number 11 for us today. Slightly out of position, not a normal position, but he's batted so well this year. He's really, really found some form. He's had some great little knocks. Oh, that would have been good as well. <laughs> I wouldn't have been surprised if they took that today. Elaine's catching has been outrageous. I have absolutely no idea what has happened there. I can't even see, but one thinks that he has been caught as everybody is walking off. And that's, uh, that is sadly the end of all these innings. And that's five for that bowler. Very, very well deserved indeed. He has bowled super tight lines very, very well indeed. Hard work pays off. Well done. 160 in the end, all out. Here we go then viewers, 161 I believe it is for Elaine to win, big Willy with ball in hand, oh, what a start that is, top wicket taker in the league, I think it's 48 wickets so far this year, that is absolutely astonishing, really really good, six, six Pipers I think it is, it's just outrageous, what a year's figures he's got, I'll see if I can get Kosh to put a little, uh, a little preview of what he's managed to achieve this year. Really, really good from him. Let's see if he can continue. One more game left to go yet. Guy opening the bowling with Big Willie. Oh. It did so much off the bat. That was a superb effort for man. What an effort. Ooh. Just chipped over Adam's head. There we go. There's a wicket. Guido's got one, nicked off, caught behind, comfortably by Ant. That one looked a little bit more of an easier chance than what uh, got that wheels was a minute ago. That came whizzing through like a rocket. Anyway, that's the top run scorer in the league, I believe, out. I've got Wadders beside me, who has just given me the thumbs up. We'll have a chat with him in a minute. Good start for Hawley, seven for one off five. Elaine are at the moment. Guido's got two, he's on a hat-trick ball. What a sensational delivery that is. Batsman's on his way back already. Quality. Here we go. Guido, hat-trick ball. Oh. <laughs> the pitch is doing a heck of a lot of work there for him as well. There we go. Let's see if Will can join the party viewers. That could be close. Absolutely not interested. That's a lovely shot. Well played. That's a lovely shot. Charlie's going to have a bit of a chase on there. Caught. No, it's not caught. Oof. Chances are coming here for Will. Two seconds later, Tottenham one, full of nil. Where has that gone? Yes. Great oh, chase there from Adam. I want to yeah. I mean, when things are extremely oh, first that's a great shot. That's really brilliant. Adam, the wicket taker, Stevenson, on from the far end, first change for us, and uh, second ball's been put away through extra cover for four. Oh, it's in the air. It's... 
That is an outrageous catch. Too good. Wow, we have been treated to some brilliant fielding today. That is sensational. Wow, we. That's a lovely shot. Picked up nicely. Straight over square leg. Four runs. Ben will reply soon. There we go. Turn. Huge amount of turn. Bassman's completely baffled. This wicket is doing funny old things. It is getting a load of turn at times, and sometimes it comes through low, other times it spits up high. But, uh, yeah, it's not easy to bat on at all, making 160 look a very good score. Oh, nearly a chop on. Ben's creating chances here, keeping it tight, holding very well. Oh, hello, that could be a wicket. Charlie will do very well if he drops that. He has not indeed. Ben strikes early. That batsman looked very, very handy indeed. He looked like he'd hit, hit that beautiful straight drive down the ground, which we saw a minute ago. Oh, there we go. 59 for four, off 20 now. The boys are making inroads into the tail now, I would imagine, of Elaine. To Adam. <laughs> Chances are coming. To earth, then. That's what I picked up. That might well go. Yeah, it's gone. Shot of the score for you. 70 for 5 off 22. Change of bowling from this end. Ben Davies has come off. We've got Matt Puttock on. Very low, skiddy action, Matt, so he uh, will make the pitch do even more funny things. You know, maybe it will pee rubble along, it might spit up. Goodness only knows. 75 for 5 off 25. All he needs to take a wicket. This guy is in form, he's backing very nicely. I'm not sure on his score at the moment, I'll confirm that in a minute. And I have been told that the guy at the non strikers end is a very, very good player. Oh, is it caught? Oh, it's just over his head. We have just been unlucky on a couple of these chances. Matt has got exactly what it deserved. That was a poor ball. Matt didn't use the wicket there at all. And uh, ball toss has Not been gently clipped. He's done 88 still, apparently. Here we go. Big Willie looking to strike. Let's have a wicket. Oh, nearly played on. That's a great shot. That is really good. It's a single. Wow, oh, well bowled, well dug out. That's been got hold of. Big six. Picked up very cleanly. Well hit. So Will's still bowling. He's taking the pace off the ball. He's bowling leg spin now. You may think that's strange, but believe me, he is quite an incredible leg spinner. He just has this ridiculous ability to bowl the ball very fast. But when he gets it. <laughs> when he gets it in the right areas, it is. Unplayable. He is a brilliant leggy. Wish we had another angle of this. Ah! That's got what it deserves. Sadly, bowling another full toss. It's going to put them over 100. That's going to go to 102 for 5 off 31. Well, I don't know, I get to see a bit of Barnet putting the old Achilles to the test with the ball as well. It's not what I expected to see at all. So he's just going to be here to do some batting. 
Oh, hey, oh, let's see how he goes. Let's see if he can get a breakthrough. We need one. These two looking very comfortable at the moment. That could be close. He's got the wicket, second ball. There we go. That's the one we needed. The granddad gets the wicket we need. He's a very good player, that one that's just walking off. Very, very good indeed. He looked like he had plenty of time on the ball, played with a beautifully straight bat. Hit the ball very cleanly. Good wicket for us to get that one. That's straight in the air, that's got to be caught. Someone's going to have to call it. And it is. Got Sharon. Took one. Everyone's laughing at him. I have no idea what was said or what has happened. I thought it might, I don't know, no idea what's happened there. But there we go. They were the two batsmen we needed. That one walking off and the guy we got with Barnett just a minute ago. Two very good players. Paulie could be well in the hunt now. 103 for 7 off 33 now. Good over this from Hawley and Matt Puttock bowling. Very, very good. Current run rate, approximately. The, score, uh, the scoring app isn't fully up to date. Oh, wow, that's straight in the air. Oh, it's just fallen short. Uh, the scoring app isn't 100% up to date. Only updates at the end of the over. But at the end of the last over, run rate was 3.12. Um, they are going at the last five overs, 3.87 and uh, they need 58 runs to win at 4.83 runs per over. So they're going to have to accelerate a little bit. They have lost a couple of wickets in doing so. And uh, yeah, we're bowling as ever tight, keeping it nice and energetic in the field and staying nice and intense. Oh, it's fallen short. been absolutely clobbered to cow corner. Chipped in the air, that'll be caught. There we go. I was just about to say, still buying it with ball in hand. He's the one that did the damage earlier. And, uh, well, a little bit more damage again there. Got, uh, he got hold of a couple of balls and he, I mean, they were all cow corner direction, but he got hold of them and they sail a fair distance. It could have been dangerous. The score is getting close. They need 5.14 and over at the moment though. So it is slowly eking out of reach and they are losing wickets. Um, but you never know what could happen. Well viewers, I have, uh, I've been blessed with the presence of Wadders with me today. And uh, he's, he's, he's been an idiot playing in one of our uh, little tournaments that we've had for last week. And he split the weapon in his finger. So he's not play for the rest of the season. Daft sod. Anyway, Rich. Um, it's getting quite tight this one, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be a quite nice game to end the season. It's, uh, even in a game uh, where you sort of nothing for us, it's quite a lot on the, on the ropes for them, isn't it? So. Yeah, well, they could potentially go down should they lose. So they're going to want to win. We don't really care in the nicest possible way which ha which what, what happens. Whatever happens, as long as it happens quick so we can get back to the bar, that's really what matters, I think. But, yeah, it'd be nice to win. Quite finish off our last game this league, getting a win, eh? You don't want it to be easy, really, do you? you know, especially if it's on video, then you can't give it to the other team either. And you, you, they don't know what's happening in the other games either, so no. for all they know, they could already be safe. But Yeah, oh, well, absolutely. What do you make of the rest of the season so far? I, obviously, I missed half of the season, so I wasn't really able to be here, but you, you played most of the season. How, how's it been for you? It's been, it's been interesting. I'd say a season of two halves, because, I mean, if everyone looks at our, the league table, you know, depending on what happens in this game, we've not lost a uh, limited overs game. So, you know, and the time games have been tough. There have been lots of draws because the pitches have been really flat. Hard to bowl teams out. But, um, you yeah, know, overall, say it's a game of two halves, but just got across the line nicely. Yeah. Yeah, just got, well, weak in, weak in, um, uh, weak in hand, really. Got across the line. It's always nice to play the last game under no pressure. Um, yeah, celebrations on two weekends as well, huh? Yeah, lots of injuries as well we've had to deal with, so considering oh, that, yeah. we've been Frankie, we have had some pretty well. Yeah. well how, how did it go, weekend celebrations last week? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, how was, uh, how was last weekend celebrations? Rich, how did it go for you? And, uh, uh, well, from what I remember, from about up to about 8 o'clock, it was great. And then all of, <laughs> after that, is, uh, is, is a bit of a blur. Um, it's got something to do with uh, Ben Davies pouring the rums, I think. He, he doesn't drink very often, and he doesn't really know how to pour a glass of rum and coke. And, I think he thinks it's more 50-50. 
Yeah. I was too drunk at that point to say no, and uh, after that, the rest is history. You're sort of saying that he took advantage of you. Well, in, in a... In too, drunk, too drunk to say no, in, in what, a in what sense, respect? Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, Ben's come off. I think he's probably going to bowl last over from the far end. And uh, we've got Guy on, bowling one more. He needs seven, seven to win. <laughs> getting getting very, very tight now. One wicket could be, uh, well, massive here. Absolutely huge. So let's hope Guy can do, that, do so. A single from it. Saying that the bow yeah, came off dead ball. before the batsman played the shot, that's so dead ball. that should be a dead ball. Yeah! Yeah! Well, well done to Elaine there, they seem to have won. Um, unfortunately, that umpire gave uh, four runs off that batsman when clearly the bow came off before the bowler bowled the ball. Uh, it was pointed out by the fielders, but the umpire was not interested. Well, that's uh, very disappointing. Uh, don't feel that, that was a fair end to that game whatsoever, sadly. Um, well done to the team. The Gullet boys, obviously a fantastic season for us so far. Um, oh, it's a fantastic season for us, full stop. Getting promotion, that's a monumental achievement for Hawley. Uh, getting into the Surrey Championship. Elaine, they win in that game. That might just keep them in this league. They might not get relegated. I don't really know what their situation is, nor do I really care, to be honest. So, yeah, that's all good news. And, um, yeah, thank you for being with us all year. And, um, yeah, if you have enjoyed everything that we've done for you, please like, share and subscribe. I will apologise once more for my absence for half of the season. Um, there's the score. I'll apologise for my absence for half season. Let's get a quick shot anyway, it's coming off. I'll apologise for my absence for half the season. Again, once more, next year I will be back on more of a full-time basis and uh, we should have week in, week out. I'm going to film the dev final after this. I think that's next weekend, next Sunday. And uh, that'll be the last video from me. So thanks very much, viewers. If you have enjoyed, please like, share and subscribe. And um, yeah, we'll see you next year in the Surrey Championship. <laughs>